Hello everyone, at this time, I will make a tutorial, how to make your own character and publish on Instagram filter. Let's get started. First, open your browser and visit the readyplayer.me website. Click try the character creator. And then, click choose file, and upload your photos. Your character will be automatically created. Now design your character however you like. You can change the shape of the face and change clothes, and give accessories to your character. When finished, click next to process your character design. Your character is ready. Now sign up and log into your account to get your 3D character. Select the My Avatars tab. Then select Download Avatar, Gelb in the Character Selection option. You can rename it. Now open your MetaSpark AR. I will use the world object template to preview the created character. Now import your 3D character into Spark AR by dragging the 3D into the Assets tab. Now drag the 3D character into the Drag Here object. Set the character's 3D size to 0.3 Remove default objects from Spark AR Now let's try to test it as an Instagram filter.
check your Instagram notification to test your filter. Okay, it works. If you want to add animation to the character, you can continue this tutorial. First, you must have the 3D Blender application. Now import the 3D character into the Blender application by select GELF 2.0 GELF GELF. and then click File, Export to FBX Format, and follow my instruction. The FBX format object is ready. Now visit the mixamo.com website to create a 3D animation. Create your Mixamo account and sign in. and then click Upload Character and then upload your 3D character and now, my character looks weird You can choose the animation movements you want, such as dance, action, and others. Then click download. There's a missing texture on the object, let's fix it.
Animation Playback Controller And then select Animation Clip from 3D Character Now select your character's 3D object, and select the animation. The animation will automatically run on your 3D character. Done! Now you can save your project, and test it to Instagram filters. It's work. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.